nigga, I turn nothing into something. My head was in that pot, I was tryna make something. Oh yeah, these niggas be fake, so I'm watching these niggas clutching my pistol, tryna slide on me, then I'm gon' kill him. I'm not tryna kick it, niggas be fake. I'm gonna try to find it again. Green. Oh shit. <laughs> Nah, that's good, bro. Green. Yo, bro, shit, bro. Give me that shit, bro. I swear they be doing that same ass shit every damn year. Uh-huh. Green. Stupid ass. Stupid. Green light. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, it's <laughs> different. <laughs> Fuck no. Nah, I said, I said, fuck no. Fuck no, babe. Oh yes, give me that, please. Ooh. That green ammo. Timer silver. Holy shit. Knock that down. There we go. <laughs> oh, fuck. Why didn't they give me that shit? Yo. Green. Let's go. Yeah, oh sure. <laughs> oh, my goodness, yo. Oh, shit. Mm hmm. Get clamped. I'm not worried about him. Green. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Yo, we out here greening up shit. Let's get it. I got, I got you. I got you. Stay there. Yep. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Look at the pass. Stupid man. Hell no. Don't even go up with that, bro. Steve, you don't gotta jump, bro. Just literally just stand in front of them and contest them, and they're not gonna make it. I'm telling you, bro. Green! Oh yes, my god! Sir. <laughs> Yo, oh stupid. my god, bro. Please, please get off the court. <laughs> no, Steve, the court. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you are the most gullible defender ever, bro. Yo, he just green like eight shots. Yo. Save the clip, save the clip. Hey man, hey man, hey man. I know y'all saw that, bro. I know y'all saw that. Y'all probably be like, bro, what the hell? I know you guys seen the range. I know you guys seen all that. This is gonna be like one of my little update videos I get for you guys. Y'all see right now, your boy's sitting at an all-star one, pretty close to an all-star two. Um, I, I haven't been running extreme amounts of like park, but I have been playing a lot of um pro-am. Our record did get messed up because we got matched against the same comp squad like four games in a row. But this is how I'm doing in the Pro-Am 3v3. Pretty good percentage compared to everybody else doing my thing, especially from the three point line, I'm definitely doing my thing. So there's a little bit of proof for you guys to show that I'm not just showing like these little clips. I'm actually shooting good percentages. And this right here is a pure sharpshooter and I'm not knocking him, this is my boy. I'm not knocking him, but I'm just saying he's a pure sharpshooter. I'm a two way, three level facilitator. So clearly the jump shooting and the badges have to say something. So with that being said, y'all seem like, y'all basically seen the badges that I have already, but I'm gonna show you guys anyways and kind of talk about it really quickly. Just to show you guys my other badges, um, contact finisher and giant slayer. Now, 
I have contact finisher because it allows you to just make contact dunks and contact layups. Contact dunks not fully necessarily meaning like an actual contact dunk, but when you're in the lane and someone jumps near you, in 2K setting, it's considered a contact dunk. So it's going to help you finish through traffic. Giant Slayer is going to help you um, make layups on taller defenders. Guys, think about it. When you're playing in 2K, the majority of the time you go to the basket, it's always a taller defender. So you want to actually have this badge. Like it says right here, boost the shot percentage for a layup attempt when mismatched against a taller defender and reduces the possibility of getting blocked. That also helped me want to get this badge too. The, reducing the possibility of getting blocked is a huge. So that's why I definitely put that on silver. Definitely need that badge. Uh, I'm going to skip over the shoot. I'm going to save the shooting for last. Playmaking. Dimer is not hard. Uh, it wasn't a hard decision at all. I had to get Dimer to help my teammates score because the shooting is like a little bit iffy this year. But guys, just get your badges. That's what it is. Once you get your badges, you literally get to um, see the difference. So just get your badges. It's not that hard. Well, it is hard, but it's a grind, bro. It's not, feel me? There got to be some kind of skill gap. Handles for days. A player takes less energy when, um, or a less energy hit when performing consecutive dribble moves. So basically, this just helps you with your energy when dribbling with the ball. Once I got this uh, badge, it makes you dribble faster. Why, you ask? Because you have more energy when you're dribbling the ball. It's that simple. It, it shouldn't even be like that hard of a debate. Um, and quick first step, one of, the, like, one of the most OP badges in the game. When driving out of triple threat or after a size up, ball handlers have access to quicker and more effective launches. So just literally if you jab step or do anything like that, you get to like get a little speed boost, which I love. This badge is one of the best badges in the game, so you definitely have to get that. Now, for my defending, I got clamps. It helps you stay in front of your defender, perimeter defenders. You know how uh, the guards love to run around screens and do all that extra stuff, blah, blah, blah. We need this badge on Hall of Fame. Now, I did have Intimidator on Hall of Fame and Pickpocket on Hall of Fame, but I wanted to test it out to see how good they were and if I could just come back to it later. And that's what I did. I kind of like balanced out the badges a little bit more and said, you know what? I'll just come back to them later. So, um, yeah, next up we got Intimidator. Basically, this, this just helps your, um, whoever you're guarding, it makes them miss more than they usually would. Um, this badge on Hall of Fame is OP. I'm definitely going to get it back soon, but you're going to see why I didn't get it. Um, what else? Pick Dodger. This is one of the most important badges. I, I just got it, but like, yeah, this this badge, I'm going to put it on Hall of Fame or Gold. I'm leaning heavily towards Hall of Fame at the moment because the screens this year, like, it feels like 2K17 screens all over again. I don't know why 2K reverted back to it, but, yo, the screens feel like 2K17 screen. And if you're a guard that can't play deep, I know everybody likes to say they can play defense, but if you don't have the badges this year, you're not going to be playing any defense. You're going to get hit by screens and you're going to lose your energy. So that's going to be on you. Now, pickpocket. Don't even have to go over that. Helps you steal the ball. And especially when they're trying to drive on you for a layup, you take the ball from them. And that's that. I am going to get tireless defender for my next upgrade. So I might bring down, I don't know. But for sure, for sure, I'll have, by the end of it, I'll have Clamps Hall of Fame, Intimidator Hall of Fame, Pickpocket Hall of Fame and maybe Tyler's Defender or Pick Dodger. I want to have Interceptor, but I feel like I don't really need it. I feel like Tyler's Defender is like, these badges right here, you're going to have to use them way more. Like Tyler's Defender and Pick Dodger, these are going to have to be used way more. I feel like everything else is just being extra or if you're a defensive build and you want to get them. So yeah, I used to think Lightning Reflexes was a good badge, but it really isn't simply because it doesn't literally tell you exactly where they're going. It'll show you the direction they're supposed to go, and then they'll go a whole different direction. This shit only works on like when you're playing the AI. So yeah, don't get lightning reflexes. It's not as OP as I thought it was gonna be when the demo was out. Now, last but not least, shooting badges. Guys, I'm gonna go through these. I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna go through all these shooting badges. Right? Catch and shoot. You don't, you don't need that badge this year. Honestly, there's badges that's way more important than it. You don't need it. You can make your shots regardless. But if you're a stretch or something and you're going to be off the ball all the time, then maybe you do need it. I wouldn't suggest it. Clutch shooter you don't need because this is more for if you're a pro-am player. Clutch shooter would only work in the park when it's like 15-15. And a lot of the times the game is either on, it's either you're winning or you're not. So you don't really want to do that. Corner specialist is another one. You really don't need this here. There's too many other badges that you'd rather get. Dead eye, I'm getting this because it's gonna help out when defenders close out on me. I need this badge, it's not even a question. I want it. I'm gonna get it. I got it. Deep phase, do not get this unless you're a post scorer or you're a stretch big. Um, every sharpshooter does have a good post fadeaway, but 
realistically, how many people are going to do post fadeaways? Don't even get it. Difficult shots is one of the most important badges in the game. Probably top three because the shooting is so hard this year that people are just reverting to just we're, we're just leaning towards taking fadeaways. So, yeah, difficult shots is important. Um, this is my favorite badge in 2K history. Been using a shot creator ever since it came out in 2K17. So, yeah, I kind of took a little bit of a different approach to upgrading it this year, but that's perfectly fine. I'll get it, Hall of Fame. Flexible release doesn't really help that much. I had it on bronze, and people were saying it doesn't work on gold or uh, Hall of Fame, so I'm not even going to use it. Um, green machine, yo, this badge right here is everything. I didn't think it was going to work. I thought it was going to be a waste of a badge, but if you know your jump shot, you're going to green way more than you think. Like, this badge is a glitch. Like, it's going to help you green a lot more shots, so you definitely got to get it. That's why I got it on Hall of Fame. Hot start. I don't see anybody with this badge. Just not. It's literally a waste of a badge. Don't get it. Um, yeah, just don't get it. Unless you're the only way you should even think about this badge is if you're a pro am player or a rec player, like a rec center player. Don't think about getting hot start. Hot zone hunter is a good one. Once I feel like once everybody gets their badges and get their hot zones and stuff, I think a lot of people are going to use hot zone hunter because it's literally it'll give you a boost on the entire damn court. Like if you're one of those players like me that ends up getting hot spots on the entire floor. That's going to be a GG because you're not going to miss any shots. Um, ice and veins, that's literally only for um, pro am. As you can see, it says free throws. Pick and popper are for stretches. Pump fake maestro, I don't even know why this is in the shooting category, but I guess because you pass out of a shot. Don't get that badge. Quick draw is a must. If you're a shooter, you need quick draw on gold or higher. Like If you have shooting in your archetype, you need quick draw on gold or higher. It shouldn't even be a question. Um, silver is good enough for if you're like a lockdown that can shoot or something like that. Um, anything below silver is just pointless to even have it. Range extender, do I have to talk about it? It's limitless range. It helps you shoot from a better distance beyond the three point line, as you guys see me doing eclipse. So it shouldn't even be a debate. Slippery off ball, I haven't seen anybody with this. This is literally only for rec. Steady shooter, it does help you with contested shots, but it lowers your open shot percentage, so don't even get it. Tireless shooter is a good batch to have, but um, it doesn't work as much as you think it would. I had tireless score is what they used to call it every single year since the shot creator came out and it didn't work as much as I thought it would. Like it's not that as, it's not that effective as you think it would be. So I wouldn't say get it, but I mean, if you do get it, it's not a bad choice. And last but not least volume shooter. This badge is also a very, very good badge because it only helps you as you shoot more shots during the game. It's only going to help you. So, Hey, if you need daddy shoot, I said daddy, I don't know what I'm talking about. If you need volume shooter, get it, get it, get it, get it. It's a good badge. But right now, this is how I'm rocking with my badges. This is how I have my player upgraded. A lot of people always ask me, um, yo, bro, how did you upgrade your two-way player? How did you upgrade him? How did you upgrade him? This is how I upgraded him, guys. If you want to follow the same format, you can. It's all up to you. But this is how I play, and this is how I figured out like what's OP in the game and what's not. So that's how I upgraded my badges. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. There will be a lot more updates in the future. So make sure you guys, like I said, yo, like, comment, subscribe, bro. We coming with this daily grind. There's going to be a lot more updates. Right now is your boy sitting on a 94. But once I get to 95, I'll get into that fluctuation process where I have to start playing good in order to get to 99. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I'm done talking y'all heads off. Make sure that y'all like, comment, subscribe if you're new. It's your boy John Ranks, and I'm out. I'm not trying to kick it, niggas be fake, so I'm keeping my distance. That shit turned to a habit, you don't really know the feeling, no, you don't. You don't really know the feeling, no, you don't. You don't really know the feeling, no, you don't. And that's a habit. Remember, posted on the block, that's